The Warp Navigation Meeting has officially begun! Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. It's Kafka. Hmm. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you astral expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of the Law Foo? The Sienjo Law Foo? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Sienjo Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My... Companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. 
If you don't go to the Law Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless, can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March. Get done hung. orders from that woman. Seems like the longer I spend in my room, the stranger things are when I emerge. Hmm. March told me. If it were one of the other ships, it might have been okay. But I can't go to the low fool. I remember the Xianzhou was a sight to behold. Good luck. It's way too much of a coincidence. A Stellaron hunter shows up at the site of a Stellaron burst that just happens to be occurring nearby? Does anyone really believe that? Oh, I'm so mad. 
she just hijacks our communications and then hangs up? So rude. You used to know her, right? Was she always like this? Oh, yeah? Huh. Maybe she really liked you. Oh, yeah. I just spoke to Don Hung. Here's the deal. We've all got to vote against. Trust me, she'll hold a democratic vote. One for you, one for me, one for Don Hung. Three all together. We never go anywhere without a consensus. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. Three against two. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. Calm down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hong, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case, Welt. Ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now. But make sure you take good care of the two of them. Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! The train is about to make the jump. Five... Four, three, two, one. These ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. Are you okay there? What's with all the lonely, nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Xianzhou territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lawful Skyport. Starskip Finn. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Transfer. <sighs> now you know how I feel when you copy me. 
<sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us in the dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait, transfer. Please wait, transfer. Please wait, transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On the of the Sianjo La Fu. Welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Imiko, stay vigilant back here on the express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. <laughs> yes, but I won't be putting my feet up. There's a lot to take care of here on the train. Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is... Stellaron hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind. And don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah! Let's go. containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests, it's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. Huh. Ah, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. That's Mr. Yang. This is child's play for him. He's dealt with all kinds of dangers before. Let's move. Keep your wits about you.
Enemies ahead. Up for a scrap? <sighs> Great. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let me end your misery. Don't mess with me. Leave the rest to me. Form your body and mind. Naughty children, don't listen. <laughs> Thanks! What a headache! I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Afraid of me. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Don't mess with me. Who's next? Form your body and mind. <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of it. Still walk away. I won't go easy on you. A sharp scythe needs targets. Enemies ahead. Pray. Up for a scrap? <sighs> Great. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Naughty children, don't listen. You're in bad shape. Oh, my feelings! Hold your breath! I'll free you from 
from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Leave the rest to me. I won't go easy on you. The redemption. Time for a shot. All better now? <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. your misery. Children, don't listen. Nap time. You can still walk away. A sharp scythe needs targets.
Lend me your strength. Lend me your strength. Stand down. That's better. gonna get that.
Enemies ahead. Up for a scrap? Are the repairs in the supply zone? M almost. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. We'll 
deal with problems outside the base zone later. Huh? It's you. Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. No, she had pudding this morning. I made it especially for you. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... Hmm. I'm pretty confident in this dish. Unfortunately, I was a bit rushed at the end. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. If he's doing research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Ah, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes mm. word. Hey, uh? And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. We appreciate your high praise, Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely. But I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there. Right this way. Sure. And you are? Hello, Madam. You must be the one Herta has been talking about. She's quite curious about you. As am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. Sorry, I wanted to show you around, but now I don't think I'll be able to get away. All right, see you later.
Oh, strange. It should be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Wait a second. I know you. I saw you chatting with Captain Arlen just now. You must be the rising star who caught Madame Herta's attention. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. I don't know who or what it was. Actually, I'm investigating that right now. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her once before. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. Yeah, it was pretty unexpected. Space station affairs are usually handled by lead researcher Asta. This is the first time I've seen Madame Herta give orders in person. To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. Just like this. Uh, 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 that's, uh... Really? Well, why is there... a drop of sweat? Unbelievable! Why would something like this be in the space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave... a drop of sweat! So this is what we're looking for? This... suspicious evidence? It wasn't what I was expecting, but... Wait a second. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, oh, I see. This is electronic graffiti that appears to represent Punk Lordian symbols. I if I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. We need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. Ugh, you got me there. I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want a friend. Anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you too? Ah, just do me a favor. It won't take up too much of your time. Here, just point it at the graffiti on the wall.
That's better. something popped up here, then Void Rangers jumped out. But look, just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted. If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It's exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Is this a transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemies somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez, Stellaron hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even, madam. It's really hard to stay calm. You know, if it wasn't for you, I'd probably be lying on the ground right now. So it's really important that we work together. Please! There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. down a question mark. They must be making fun of us. She went towards the base zone. <sighs> yep. Ah, disappeared again? This thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering it. She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. She makes it seem easy. Is she really looking at the Curio Collection Index? Judging by how calm she is, she must have been in this room for a while. Maybe she was waiting for someone. Not sure what happened after that. Let's search somewhere else. That's what happened. She sneaked in first, then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. Let's see. The registered name is... Leonard Colliwell? How is this possible? She... she used my identity. I never noticed that there was an issue with this record. I subconsciously glanced right past it when I saw my own name. She's so cunning. It's an honest mistake. The reaction of any ordinary person is to check for unfamiliar names, right? <laughs> Who would think to check their own name?
The graffiti's location is quite... interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. They call this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game and having fun is what's most important. I don't understand that way of thinking. But it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. The same thing happened last time as well. I was so close to the target but got obliterated in the final battle of information. <sighs> Doesn't help to dwell on past failures. It's more important to do your best with the things in front of you. Ah, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. They seem to be heading toward the monitoring room. Another graffiti. They're all different, too. She really put some thought into this. Huh? Is this section of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. I don't think so. That's not the same as passing straight through a wall. Look. Hold on. I got it. It might be an effect from a curio. There was a pre-established folded space here, and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the curio collection index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Huh? What are you muttering about? Hmm. Why would they leave you here if their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron no problem. Graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed. The trail has gone cold. Ugh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> Sorry, that sounded better in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely unfamiliar to you. I can't help but feel there's more that they're after. 
I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. Otherwise, I'll feel bad for having you do so much work for nothing. <sighs> the more I talk about it, the worse I feel. I should probably find something that I can do. Hmm. There's a rating pistol here. I wonder what my rating would be. Whoa, look here. There's a strange access log in the rating pistol's compartment. It looks like the log time occurred during the Legion's invasion. The researchers would have already been evacuated by then. Could it have been her? In which case, she didn't leave immediately. She implanted the Stellaron inside you and then fiddled around with the rating pistol for a while. Could it be that... I just realized something. We need to go to the Curio Collection Room on the other side. remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. You remember it, right? It's actually on the list of missing curios. I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker has a personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission... I, I got it! I got it now! The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her! Look, in the end, they didn't take the Stellaron with them. She was so interested in the Curio Collection Index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. She knew we would be looking for the Stellaron Hunters and used it as her cover. Very smart. To be expected of someone from Punk Lord. Hold on, though. Something doesn't add up. The curios are Madame Herta's most prized possessions. All the visit requests are sent to her office from the computer in the main control room. Some researchers tried to gain access to the curios for research purposes once, but they didn't get proper authorization. She caught them all red-handed. Me too. The fact Madame Herta hasn't responded to this can only mean one thing. That the main control room was hacked as well. We need to go and take a look.
A sharp scythe needs targets. Wait, don't move. I get chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. Just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. Let's focus on the main task first. I am curious though. She paused the terminal transmissions, but didn't touch the local data at all. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. Hmm. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Look at this agreement. Something fishy about the local data she left behind. Now we can browse through the Curio access logs. Huh? That can't be right. This Curio doesn't seem to have ever left the space station. Hmm, from the way things look, yes. The records show that this curio was last sent to Madame Herta's office, and then it disappeared? I'm seriously confused. What did she come here for? She wouldn't have put the graffiti up just to mess with us, would she? <sighs> no, if I start thinking like that, I may as well give up now. I have to fully investigate every lead, or I'll really be out of a job.
when I was young. Well spent. Like that. who buy that think smart water raises their IQ.
not gonna happen. I'll say it again. I don't care what Runmei said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down this simulated universe. Perta, I've made my decision. Question. What have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology in the entire universe. And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. But now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge, but I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Herta, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many disappointments has it given you? The simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints me, Skrulem. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing? <laughs> right now, you're more like, like, like someone from the Nitwit Society. <sighs> Herta, I don't mean to question you. Nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. I just want to give more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. Leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. I can go find Adrian Taylor, or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon, or even the Intelligentsia Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. Ugh. Skrulem, we've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that... Uh, you're nothing but a piece of ice-cold metal. My apologies, madam. This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Well, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. The question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. Are you worried about her mental state? Then I'm glad I haven't caused you vexation on her behalf. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. Let Herta be alone for a while, so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, maybe I can help in answering your questions. Hmm. Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Young madam, how much do you know about Punk Lord? It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, 
as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. Yes, no need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. It's as I said, it is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. I understand your concern. If the individual in question did indeed try to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. As such, please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, madam. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. It will remain shut until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. Yes. This is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. By way of apology for shutting down the simulated universe, I will use my abilities in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. This is my recommendation. Please take your time to consider it. Well, madam, are you ready? Please, ask away. I welcome all forms of curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Yes, there are other concerns besides those I've mentioned. I believe that the miracles inside the simulated universe have the right to grow and develop organically. The will of others shouldn't be imposed upon it, just like in the actual universe. The more Herta tries, the further she moves away from the universe that she had hoped for. Conclusion. The endless iterations of the simulated universe are wearing down her talents, day by day. I hope to free my dear friend from it. Nevertheless, I must also clarify that this is my opinion alone. You should form your own judgment on Herta, young madam. They are a group that carries a balance scale with them at all times. They believe all the justice in the universe needs to be achieved through individual deeds. That was the most suitable way of describing the Galaxy Rangers in my interpretation. They are directed by the path of the hunt and are always accompanied by song and the sound of horns. They pursue justice for the individuals and groups they encounter along the way and shower them with splendid wines and poems. However, all stories come to an end just as they disappeared from the spotlight long ago. There is a group of life forms there that know nothing of fatigue. They are attempting to touch upon the umbilical cord of the truth. They are compiling the languages, thoughts, and even emotions of the entire planet into symbols that even inorganic life forms can understand. You see, in the vast sea of data, life exists only in one form, a line of code. Whether it's a butterfly, a whale, or even you, the length of that line of code dictates the boundaries of what the entity entails. I've always thought of you that way. 
Very well. Get going, we shall. I will be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. It might feel a little different than usual. This will help us quickly locate the cartridge in the vast sea of data. We'll start with this data link. Now, please prepare yourself for a deep dive with your consciousness. Young madam, are you all right? That's the communication module doing its job. Herta often speaks of it as an expensive and impractical function. She often shuts it off to increase calculating power. However, I maintain that the voice carries greater emotional charge than the written word. You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. Hacker. Oh. Conclusion. That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Young madam, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. Hey, you. Why are you staring at me? I initiated the simulation flow. This is just a record of the past. She is not actually talking to you. Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. 
Secondly, it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. Lastly, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe, her and her companion. Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. in the road, huh? I got this. Wanna pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try. It's a nice thing to have a companion who likes to talk, isn't it? Hmm. Wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. What? Why won't you believe me? I told you, it's the right side, the right! Hmm, <laughs> not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. Why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. What has happened is destined to happen again. That was my conclusion after having met her. Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. We fought against one another before. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. From my point of view, it wasn't a victory. It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and I would defend. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. 
I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. What the? This was the right way all along. Ugh, herd has got some psychological tactics going on. Seems like we can now continue forward. To the space station again. <gasps> A riddle? W where's the skip button? even a miniature Herda over here. Eesh. A little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. The entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? Herta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. Yes, that incongruous feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the ether cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. I must admit, this feels less like a chase and more like a chance encounter. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game and attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let us accompany her till the end. Devil's 
speed? We found it. The ether cartridge is here, and it's perfectly intact. There is an unwelcome third party here with us. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. <laughs> you want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion in her eyes. The final results are on the display table, young madam. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. You've guessed correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe, and found a way to continue alongside us. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. The graffiti is like a two-way data tunnel. You can use it to retrace the trail she leaves behind, and she can monitor your progress by seeing which pieces of graffiti have disappeared. I fear she may well have had the whole thing planned out before hacking the space station. The graffiti and the back door were all in aid of honing in on just the right moment. I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation, but rather the lack of it. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. Well then, were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey? Miss Silver Wolf? Huh. You knew it all along, didn't you? I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It is a joy and an honor to have the opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. So, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act? You did all that to lure me in? That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. <laughs> Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. You now know everything about this encounter. Everything? No, no. You're wrong about the most important part. You think I came here out of desperation, but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? 
I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen, and the IPC were a disappointment. Only the society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them down? You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. Oh, a copy. You completed it while we were talking just now. Why else would I entertain so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herta is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. And I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Screw them. Will I be able to see your true strength this time? The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. Huh? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? Your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. I'm gonna leave with this cartridge, then. That's just a duplicate. Correction, not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. The real curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion, you may share that data freely. What if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. Then, what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. What is the point of this, then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Silver Wolf, I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. How boring. However, Herta felt that this would be too easy on you, and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse hacked you and located all your inter-astral network accounts. A total of 76 accounts. A very impressive number. How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them? Including all of your game records. What? Hey, hold on a minute. And she logged out. How hasty of her. <sighs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child. But to an adult, they are but one among many ways of solving a problem. It's about time we were on our way.
hope you caught a glimpse of Herta's awesomeness, kiddo. Hmm, <laughs> naturally. I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. <laughs> Thank you, young madam. Your and Mr. Leonard's contributions were a necessity to our victory. Do you have any other questions regarding this incident? Her ultimate goal was always the ether cartridge, but she developed an alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary ploys Nothing more than games, I'll wager. If you are referring to the back doors Silver Wolf left behind, we have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the office. Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. Please, ask away. Certainly not. Although Madame Herta and I have our differences in terms of research direction, the simulated universe is our shared pursuit, and nothing will change that. On the contrary, I plan on staying here for a while to see up close what kind of surprises the new branch of the universe has in store for me. There is no one answer to that question, my friend. It holds a different meaning for everyone. To sentimental, organic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons, or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time. To the swarm that follows its instincts, it might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. And for me, perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart. Something great that you call emotions. Of course, I've also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two-digit number. A medium-rare Catal steak, salt-baked Kalia lemongrass, Herman compound milk, and a portion of fried rice prepared by a certain young man on the station. All I need is energy. The form that energy comes in is the same as it is for you. I would never forsake the delights of the culinary world in the interests of efficiency. Now, it is possible that my joints may need a little lubricant every now and again. Well, young madam, our destination may differ, but there are still countless opportunities for our paths to cross. The pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force for trailblazing. Uh, so, the reason Madame Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? That never crossed my mind! Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? <laughs> she said I did a good job! Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madame Herta! This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life! I don't have to worry about being fired anymore! This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far! All right, all right. Stop with the tantrum. 
You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? Ugh. If it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep, just me. Why? Do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elio's next script. Did you forget? Oh, right. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you, I'm not obsessed with it. Besides, there's fun to be had along the way. And that's all there is to it. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard.
A sharp scythe needs targets. Nights. Gonna get that time back.
Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. Scythe needs targets. Up for a scrap? Yeah! <laughs> 
I gonna get that time back? Gonna get that time back? nights. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. Thank you. 